leave. What are you doing? He said, I weren't going to come, but I got delivery this way. <laughs> So I thought I'd just pop in, like, same off. Like, so he's in his fucking helmet and jacket. You no, know, and he's got a parcel on the back of the bike. And it's just, and it was the weirdest funeral, because I remember we, at the end of it, we, we came out, the, the, they, they wouldn't let us turn the music up, and so they had, it was a bit of a tussle with the people who ran the crematorium. And as we came out, um, I was talking to one bloke called Tony and I just went, oh, that was a good old scene off, that was good. He goes, yeah, we've put a couple of golden joints in the coffin. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, golden joints, so we've got everything in them. They've been soaked in everything. We've got E, we've got Coke, we've got Swag, it's fucking everywhere. And they start to walk off and I said, where are you going? He said, downwind. <laughs> But your show, Bravo Figaro, which I saw at the uh, Tricycle Theatre, I think, was it? No, was it called the, um, the one in um, Vauxhall? Yeah. Yeah, Tricycle. Uh, it was, it's an amazing show about your, about your dad, his love of opera. Uh, it kind of resonated with me because my granddad, who uh, was the husband of my grandmother, who just died, uh, was, was also a, was a builder. And he, and he was massively into opera and he was furious. And, and all of his friends on the building site were going, you don't really like that, you're being pretentious, you don't. And he would my be dad really loved it. I mean, yeah, he was, yeah. My dad was, I should explain, my dad was a mixture of, of a lot of things. He was the rudest man ever that I've ever met. <laughs> uh, seriously, he was just, he's fa- he was a builder, self-employed builder. Uh, he used to be a Methodist lay preacher uh, and completely into opera. Left school with no qualifications. He was a real sort of a mixture of stuff. His favourite swear word, right, he would lean out the, we used to have a comma van, he'd lean out the van. His favourite swear word was, Oi! Cunty bollocks! <laughs> that was his favourite. And if he was being affectionate, he'd go, Oi, come on, toffee bollocks, down here. And toffee bollocks was the affectionate and cunty bollocks was the unaffectionate. And so he was, he was just the, the most... He used to, this, I used to do a routine about him heckling uh, the anti-choice protesters outside clinics, <laughs> which he did because my mum used to be a nurse. She used to be a midwife in Glasgow before abortion was legal and so she kind of dealt with that, that reality of it. And she's militantly pro-choice. And it's the one liberal thing my dad got into his body. And I used to do a whole routine about how my dad used to heckle the people outside complaining, going, stop the abortion, stop the... And this is nearly word for word true. My dad used to just lean out the the window and just go, you fucking evil bastards, look at yourself bullying people like that. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Shout out to fucking vulnerable women like that. Fuck off out of it. Read your Bible, John 14. (laughs) And it was just... it, It was just remarkable to see it was just fucking remarkable and he was sort of full of kind of like b 